Hello, hello, my lovely year two artists. Welcome to your second lesson of your art textiles projects looking at germs. We've been looking at the artist Henri Matisse, who used to be a painter, but then he became too ill to do that anymore. So he came up with a whole new way of making artwork. And he made something he called his cutouts, which is where he shaped paper using scissors. He would call it drawing with scissors and he'd create these wonderful shapes. And it reminded me of all the germs under the microscopes. And it reminded me of another artist who did cutouts, uh, probably inspired by Matisse, called Rogan Brown, who does these lovely sculptures using paper cutouts of viruses and germs. So neither of these artists are textile artists, um, but we can take inspiration from the lovely way they cut out and laid out their work. Next half term, we will be using cloth to make our artworks, but we're just having a practice for now. So first thing we need to do is have a look at these lovely pictures I've got from you of all sorts of cartoon images of germs. So viruses and bacteria there. And you need to choose one of these that you're going to work on. You'll also need lots of different colour bits of paper, and I've got all sorts here. It's quite scrappy paper, it's just left over from other projects. I've got different colours, but also things like sugar paper and photocopy paper. It doesn't matter really what it is. You'll also need scissors, a pencil probably. I've got a pen because it shows up better for you to see on the film. So choose a picture of an interesting virus or bacteria, the germs that you think are, are interesting. I'm going to go for this one here. I like the shape of it. Now I'm not matching the colours, I'm simply taking inspiration from the shape. So it doesn't matter what colours I use, I'm going to start off with a bit of yellow for the main bit of my little germ here. And I want to make it quite large so that it's going to be really nice and visible. And I'm going to just draw the main shape first of all. Now our friend Henri Matisse didn't used to draw things out first, he would just cut it all out, he would call it drawing with scissors. So if you feel confident you don't have to draw it out if you don't want to but I'm just showing you this way. So if you watch I move my paper not my scissors. Can you see I keep my scissors straight up and I move my paper around. That's a really good technique for cutting out. And there I've got my first shapes. Now I need to put some more details on, some dots and then uh, some strange prickly bits on the outside. So I'm just choosing another piece of paper. And as I say, don't bother trying to match it with the colour that it is on the picture. We're doing something different. We're just taking inspiration. So I'm making some dots here, some little circles, and I'm cutting those out. So again, notice how I'm moving my paper keeping my scissors up in an upright direction and moving my paper. It's how we get better sort of cutting out. So what I'm doing is I'm getting all the different parts of the picture together. So I'm getting my big shape in the background, I'm getting the nice circles ready, and then I'm going to do the little spiky bits all around the side there. I'm getting it all piled up and ready to go, and then I'm going to start sticking it all down. So the first thing I do is I stick down my yellow shape and then I'm putting on my tendrils in the background, my spiky bits. And I changed the colour midway through because I thought, why not? It looked a bit dull, so I changed the colour. And we can do that because as we're going along, we're learning, we're working things out. So once you've made your shape, you need to cut it out. So this is called mounting it. You put it on another piece of paper and now we're going to cut out. Now, do you notice how I'm not cutting it right up to the edge? I'm not cutting out every bit of it because I quite like that red, that background showing through. It makes it stand out. And I've made another one here for you. I've just uh, mounted all those shapes onto my piece of green and I'm cutting that out. Again, not going right up to the edges so it has a nice shape that you can see. And then what I want you to do is keep going so that everybody's got a different germ and then you're going to lay them all out together on one big piece of coloured paper. I've given you a big bit of paper and I just want you to lay them out in different ways. Try laying them out. Think about that Henri Matisse picture. So we make a giant whole class artwork with all of our individual germs to make one beautiful big picture. Okay, have fun everyone.